What's going on guys, it's your boy Darth Eternal here with the latest Star Wars news, but before we do get into that, remember, hit the subscribe like and notification bell so you're always in the know. Also, go check out my last video as it was a good one, so give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start today's show because we have some big news today. So today we're going to be talking about Obi-Wan's childhood proving that he was meant to train a young Anakin Skywalker and in this series it is set just years before The Phantom Menace and we get to see old Ben Kenobi reflecting on his life on Tatooine during a sandstorm and you get to see these moments from his past that have never been seen before but guess what we're about to see that right now and in this new comic series we will be seeing him writing in his journal while a handful of these entries were depicted in 2015 on that Star Wars run for the Kenobi series by Marvel but the majority of those stories featured Kenobi when he was already in exile on Tatooine, watching over and protecting a young Luke Skywalker. But now, this new Obi-Wan series will be looking even further back to Kenobi's earliest days among the Jedi Order and featuring Obi-Wan as a youngling now in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, this new preview and release for the Obi-Wan Kenobi comic series issue number one finds Kenobi searching for his friend Garen and who has left her bed. Now, Obi-Wan finds her outside the Jedi Temple and Garen reveals that she keeps having dreams and you know what that means about her father suffering and in pain and we know where this comes from, which she believes are visions and we've seen this play out guys even though she is determined to leave the order and save her father as you see in these images obi-wan desperately tries to get her to stay before she jumps to coruscant's lower levels to begin her self-appointed mission as such obi-wan's childhood friend very much resembles kenobi's future padawan Anakin Skywalker and that's why I said we've seen this story play out before but Kenobi was older and we'll talk more about it who likewise has dark visions of his mother as seen in Attack of the Clones here are the preview and as you see what we've been talking about it are the images from the actual issue now these again are never before seen images or shall I say uh, never before seen time in Kenobi's life is described as watershed adventure and the similarities to anakin's struggle and visions of his mother it can't be a coincidence right so that being said obi-wan's chief advice to anakin in attack of the clones is that his dreams will eventually pass seeing as how his padawan neglects to reveal the full extent of the visions he is having Perhaps Obi-Wan's experience here in this new issue will explain his response to Anakin. It's possible that Garen's dreams are not as real as she thinks. So guys, this is really cool because this really dives deep into understanding when Obi-Wan does tell Anakin that maybe he has dealt with this already, which we do see that not just maybe anymore, he has dealt with it. But the difference between the two is that guess what Anakin is his actual Padawan and stood around and he had to train him and deal with that as with Garen she left never saw her again and that might have created something you know for Kenobi as a, a real deep loss it might have been a friend of his that he was really close to we don't know now much but we will learn as the comments come out more and more issues come out but again guys I wanted to get this out to you because this was something that really hit hard in understanding you know him really taking on the role and how he was truly ready even though he didn't want to and he knew that the Jedi Order didn't didn't want Anakin because they sensed much fear much anger in him and they knew that he was not ready to take on this path and maybe that's why he didn't want to take Anakin because he sensed it and he has gone through this already so now it explains all the more why he had that hesitation as well but he only did it for his Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn 
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. And let me know what you think about this new comic series that's going to come out. I know I'm going to be buying it today, and I'm going to be diving deep into it. So again, comment down below if you like this comic and you can't wait to see more of it as I talk more about it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much again for tuning in today. Hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. And stay tuned because today is May the 4th, guys. It's a big day, and I'm going to be live streaming at 3 p.m. Eastern Time to 12 a.m eastern time and i have so many special guests today so stick around for that and i actually have and i will say it here ray kennix who is a big cosplayer in the cosplay community who does an amazing job as ahsoka who's gonna be having a fan film come out today and she will be out chilling with us on the live stream later today so definitely tune into that and i will see you guys later tonight again thank you so much for tuning in see you guys later <laughs>